Hey, I'm Cassie. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to be talking about Kuvad syndrome. So it's also known as sympathetic pregnancy. It's a condition where basically the partner experiences very similar symptoms to the expectant mother. Uh, one thing to know is that Kuvad syndrome is actually listed as a subset of pseudosiasis or a phantom pregnancy within the DSM-5. And one of the possible reasons it doesn't have its own listings, and this is just um, my, my own uh, theory on this, is that it's a temporary syndrome. So it begins in the first trimester, it disappears, typically disappears in the second, returns in the third, and then disappears after birth. It is really unfortunate that scientists and medical professionals turn away from researching Kuvad syndrome. Because symptoms can be scary. Uh, you can experience abdominal swelling, lactation, although rare, craving for strange foods, nausea, labor pains, and labor pains are again rare, um, but mood swings, being irritable, depression, any symptom that is goes with pregnancy is possible, and that's scary. Um, so there's a lot we don't know, but here's what we do know. According to current research, in expectant fathers, uh, prolactin levels go up and their testosterone levels go down. So prolactin is secreted by the anterior pituitary and it's best role, known for its role in lactation. Uh, it does have other roles in the body, but we're going to focus on the lactation portion right now and, it's, um, and the role it plays in men. So for men, when prolactin levels are too high, uh, they tend to suffer from things like erectile dysfunction, low sex drive, depression, and some other things. So it really does make sense that men would experience the, the noted symptoms when a hormone imbalance becomes severe or is going on. Unfortunately, it's, it's not entirely cle clear what causes the anterior pituitary to overproduce prolactin, um, but I have a theory that it's because the hypothalamus communicates with the anterior pituitary, and the hypothalamus is actu actually plays a really big role in parenting and attachment behaviors, and this could be one reason the increase in prolactin occurs. So some other things we know is that minorities tend to experience symptoms more often. Um, this could be due to the fact that people in other parts of the world have different pregnancy rituals. For example, um, there's actually a tribe that they make men experience labor. I don't know how or like what they use or if it's real labor. That's just what the article told me. Um, there's a bunch of articles about cool pregnancy traditions out there and what different uh, parts of the world do. And then in some African tribes, the man is expected to go on a spiritual journey to guide the baby into the world. So um, in Western society, though, uh, we, we have something where uh, we have antenatal classes, birthing classes, and fathers who attended those were more likely to experience symptoms. Um, so this suggests that the father's closeness to the situation plays a role in Kuvad syndrome appearing. Um, so there are some theories on what's going on, and some theories are a little weirder than others, um, and some of them actually make really good sense. So one of the theories is, psychoanaly is the psychoanalytical theory, and it suggests that men are jealous of women's ability to produce offspring. I, for one, have seen pregnant women, and it does not look comfortable, so I'm not at all jealous. Um, so I, I think that one's a little silly. Um, there's the psychosocial theory, and that suggests that there's a lot of pressure placed on a man to be involved and to help out, and I can see that. Now, I've seen some pressure put on some guys, and it can be a little unfair, the amount of pressure we put on them. The next theory is attachment theory. This suggests that the closeness to the fetus gives rise to the syndrome. That makes sense. We see above that fathers that are heavily involved in the pregnancy process tend to experience symptoms. There's the hormone theory, and that suggests that hormones change due to pheromones from the pregnant partner. I can't tell you much if the pheromones play a role, but for sure, the research shows us that hormonal changes play a role in that. 
The last theory I'll talk about is parental transitional theory, and that suggests that stress from becoming a parent causes the male to essentially get sick. That makes sense. Anxiety causes me to feel sick. Uh, maybe not pregnant sick, but sick. So I can understand some symptoms appearing because they're stressed out and worried about what's next. So current research suggests that some of these theories have real potential to be accurate. But until more research is done, expectant fathers will have to make do knowing that in nine months, the symptoms will be gone.